Hey everyone, Rick here, Big Gunner 81 Hope you're doing well today, as always. So today I'm just going to kind of show you a uh, shotgun I picked up not too long ago off Gun Broker. A very inexpensive shotgun. It's the SS12, uh, imported uh, from Turkey by Fed Arms. And uh, I've done a couple little minor modifications to it um, since purchasing it. But this is pretty close to what it, what it looks like when you get it. I mean, there's not much to it. Um, so, you know, we'll talk about some of the pros and cons, strengths and weaknesses of it. Uh, pro is it's very cheap. Um, the con is that it is a single shot, so you don't have like a you know tube, a mag tube with like multiple rounds in it. You have to unload it and load it every single time uh, you want to fire it. So for tactical purposes, it's probably not the best option. But if you don't have any other option, I'd rather have this one at least. <laughs> so um, having said that, the other benefit side to it besides being cheap and being a single shot, is it folds in half. So it's it's a pretty small for a shotgun when you fold it in half here. And I don't remember what the barrel length is and all that, but um, basically I can fit this into a backpack uh, just barely, but it fits. Um, you know, it's a good way to kind of stash it away somewhere if you need to, because it does fold in half. Um, and uh, it seems to be pretty reliable. I mean, I've had a lot of fun with it. I picked it up actually... Um, <clears throat> more or less just to have as a very inexpensive firearm that I wouldn't feel bad about uh, scratching or, you know, um, you know, running some Telflater Mouse type, you know, 12 gauge rounds through it. Uh, for example, like we ran the Dragon's Breath uh, through this one, um, which was a lot of fun uh, <laughs> to make those fireballs and all that stuff. But um, anyhow, uh, you, I, when I got this one, it was under $100, but I didn't mention that already, and now, of course, the prices have kind of changed, you know, it depends on, on the climate and everything on the market and all that kind of stuff, so, um, you know, down the road it might be different, but a couple things I did to it, one is, I wanted to have some way of carrying some extra ammo with it, um, so I got one of these really cheap uh, shot shell holders off of um, Amazon, I think it was like about five bucks or something like that, like I said, very inexpensive, um, I also wanted to be able to go hunt with it, and so I wanted to add a sling, and uh, this is the one I picked up. Basically picked this up off Amazon. Now I'm not trying to tell you to get this particular sling or any other one, but this one I just went with because I like the paracord idea because if I do um, need to have some paracord, I'm in a, in a desperate situation, I've got some right here that I can you know cut off of here um, and use. And so and there's still probably enough left too that you can still make a sling out of the remainder of it to be able to still use it in a sense. But um, what I had to modify on it to make that work, the front sling attachment point here, you can kind of see <clears throat> this particular sling has the traditional style um, like uh, mount. Uh, the original um, front mount here had a metal loop on it that was already kind of attached uh, to this uh, front mounting position. Um, I had to bend that, that little loop and take it off and drill the hole out so I could use this style sling on it. In the back, the um, the mount had a loop already there that was just uh, you know it's, it's threaded into the um, into the stock, and so that one didn't have a um, I don't want to say swivel, but it wasn't it was like a one solid piece loop. Um, and the problem with that is again this type of sling uses a different style type of attachment and. I had a hard time finding a decent sling that I'd want to use that uh, would attach to the original style of sling attachments, if that makes sense. But I found off Amazon one of these little uh, um, mounts that's back here. It's just threaded. They have them where you can get them either with machine threads or like wood screw style threads. And of course, it was like a small assortment of them for very few dollars. Um, it wasn't bad at all. So I bought the little assortment and replaced the rear one so I could use this attachment point as well. So, it's been a pretty fun shotgun. Uh, I think it was worth the investment. And if I didn't mention it, they do have several variants where you can get a uh, uh, not just the 12 gauge, but the 20 gauge and a 410 as well. And I'm kind of looking at buying those maybe down the road at some point. But um, if not, I'm very happy with this one. And in fact, uh, I took it out to go hunting because it's so lightweight. You know, you can throw it on the sling and you can. It just it just is like nothing to carry it around. Um, or if you got like a 12 gauge pump shotgun, you know it weighs a bit more. 
which may not sound like a whole lot, you know, but if you're walking around um, for hours and hours and, and out in the woods uh, or whatever, you know, the, that weight of it being on your shoulder and carrying it around and whatnot, you know, adds up. So, um, anyhow, I did use it for rabbit hunting and I uh, had fun with that and I look forward to maybe trying it with like deer hunting at some point maybe just for fun. Um, but you know, I kind of like using my Renton 700 for that right now too, but you never know. Who knows what we'll do with it. Maybe even get some squirrels in the future, who knows. But, um, anyway, it's just a cool option and, uh, you know, if you have a tight budget and can't really afford a, um, you know, a different firearm that maybe has either a magazine or, or tube fed style shotgun or something that you can have multiple rounds in, it's an option for you. It is. Um, not always the best option in some cases, but in others, it, it's a good option. Um, so that's pretty much what I gotta say about that. <laughs> and uh, until next time, guys, have fun shooting.